Welcome back guys. Today we're going to do a second look at the little VAC. So guys, um, there's a few things I want to talk to you all about before we get too terribly far into this. Um, first thing I want to talk about is on the last video that I did on this little VAC I had quite a few guys which I 100% agree with um, that you can only tell so much from the from what you can see on the surface you, you need to take some tools and pull some things apart and that's what we're going to do today but before we get to that guys uh, the first thing I want to talk about is I want to actually want to thank everybody um, for the well wishes and such and everybody that's commented and gave thumbs up and such on that I want to thank you guys very much that made my day made me feel a lot better um, and then the last thing I'm going to talk about before we get digging into this little VAC is the other day I had somebody make a claim on some music that I used and Long story short, um, ended up half ended up where I kind of just just to go along with the protocols that YouTube uses. I went ahead and I pulled the music off the video. So if you notice when you're going back through some of the guys that probably you got all that watched all the combine videos and you went to go watch them again and one is missing, well that that's why it ended up where. Uh, one hot combine, I think, is what the video was called. It basically ruined the video without having music. I couldn't find music to fit the whole, in that space. So, like I said, long story short, the 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 best um, best scenario, I guess, is what you call it, was just to pull the video completely down. So. Um, on from here, guys. So I'm going to walk you through. On the little VAC, what we're going to do before we kind of turn towards her and start working on things, um, we're going to pull the plugs and see what the pl how the plugs look. Um, we're going to pull the starter and see what that how that thing looks, and if it needs to be replaced, it's off anyway, so that that's that's fine. And I think that's actually, guys, is probably about all the more we might do. I might even take the, the pull the carburetor off just to see how bad the uh, how much of a mud dubber's nest. There is in there because I mean, days two, tra the track through this little VAC and then the LA that sits actually right behind you guys there came out of the same building, so I'm pretty sure that there's a huge mud dubber's nest in that thing and gonna need some some cleaning done before we can even really do anything with her. So, um, I think we're at the point, guys. Let's get over here and let's, let's see if we can get um, something accomplished this time, see what we can figure out what what we really got going on here so um and I said let's get going yeah okay guys so we're going to start with pulling plugs and then we're going to work towards that starter um I don't think I'm going to put any music in here I, you guys are just going to have to suffer through this um that actually smells oh okay um, I'm going to get them all pulled and then we'll kind of go through what I, I'm finding. Which are all quite loose, which worries me. Um, so I don't know, maybe he was trying to soak this thing loose. And we're getting the reap the results here on this little, little tractor. Because um, I'm not sure. But I could, oh, that one's tight. And this one's kind of a hard one to do anyways when you have a... Uh, that's kind of a weird spot for the coil, in my opinion, but...
Okay, guys. I'm not going to show you but one. Because they're all the same. So hold on here. Let's see in the front. I don't know you guys can see. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. Let's see. Here's the focus. 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 I don't know you guys can see. Okay, so I don't know. They don't look very focused to me. Here, but it, it's it's black, and it smells like burn oil, like engine oil. So I'm something either it smells like old engine oil. So I'm thinking, guys, what's going on here is I'm going to end up having to figure out how to do a rebuild on this little tractor, even though on this guys, you can look on the bright side. It's not like the little C that we we I kind of be honest, I kind of abandoned. Um, I'm just not going to get to it anytime soon. I'm thinking about... I, one thing I like to ask you guys is what do you think about me... I have a friend that's interested in buying the sea and I'm thinking about selling it to him because they're wanting a parts tractor and I think she'd be a good, pretty good parts tractor for him. Uh, leave your thoughts in the, com in the comments. Uh, otherwise guys, I think it's time to pull the starter which I might just put music over. <laughs> Okay guys, I did get the starter pulled off, or out. I got it pulled back, it is a uh, similar style to what there is on like an 8 in or such, um, I did look in there off camera, it looks pretty good up in there, so I think where we're at now guys, I think we can put some oil down the cylinders, and then we're going to go ahead and crank it over, um, which, I don't know, this thing must have, hmm, it's been worked on at least once before because it has the rubber gaskets. But anyways guys, let's get on doing that. Let's get some oil down those cylinders. Alrighty. Um... Alright, I'm going to crank it over now. That feels really good guys. I think what I'm going to do, we're going to put the plugs back in it. And I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this little video up. So guys, I hope you guys, I hope this is a better video for you guys. Uh, we found that we were burning oil for some reason. I don't know if it might be valve. It might just need a rebuild. I mean, after we pulled the plugs out and we rotated it a little bit, it does feel like it's um, kind of low on compression. I think a lot of that, that high compression feel that I, I was getting was more of a uh, old oil junked up on the cylinder walls. Um, I mean, I can't get even right now. It's pretty... I mean, it's, it's not as bad as the SE, but it's not great. So, I think it wouldn't hurt to probably do a rebuild on this little VAC. Uh, I feel it's worth doing due to the fact that it's an early one. 
I'm actually kind of looking for uh, one towards the end of the series. Um, we got Sisses, which is, I think, the next generation from this one. But, uh, hello, little honeybee. But, anyways, guys. Looking, I'm looking, kind of looking for another one a little bit older. Um, there, there's still dime a dozen around this area, even though they're kind of one of the smallest tractors case built. But uh, otherwise, guys, I think they're actually at the point where I can say, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And when you get done doing that, there should be a little bell over to one side. Click that little bell and um, tell Mark all because it will let you know when all my videos come out. And like I always do guys, see you next time. Bye.